Hi, so here we are. Um, in this little mini video I'm going to show you how to create the Parted Magic Live USB with Disk Verifier on Windows. So here we have a Windows 7 virtual machine, but really this will work on any version of Windows 10. So, or oh, Windows, not Windows 10. It should work on Windows 10 as well. So we'll open the web browser and we need to download UNet Booter. being a little bit slow. Sorry about my fan noise. So this will look very similar to the process on Linux, but there are going to be some subtle differences. Here's the Unit Booten homepage. So we want the Windows download. Here we go. We are just going to put that in my downloads folder. There we go. So next we're going to need to format the USB stick. Which is here. So we'll format it the usual way. And we need to make sure it is formatted as FAT32. Or fat. Either is fine. Okay. Then we need to open Unit Booten that we just downloaded, which is here we go. Now, sometimes your antivirus will flag this as being a Trojan, but I believe that's due to the way it works, rather than because it's actually, you know, a virus. I think it's because it uses SIGWIN, which some antivirus programs don't like. So, we need to pick Drive E, which is our USB stick, and now I will select the disk image, which is on my desktop. Oh, come on. Here we go. Part of magic. Hit OK. And in a minute, here we go. It is now copying the files. I'm going to fast forward this for you. Okay, so now we're installing the bootloader. Okay, so if you get to all. Okay, and we are done. Apart from. Yeah. Okay, apart from. We need to put the module in. So you had to P magic modules and then drop that in here and you are done and you can safely remove your drive as usual and that will boot off it. Now there's been a lot of fast forwarding in this video but I feel like I should note I'm doing this in VirtualBox which has a somewhat iffy USB implementation and my USB drive is very slow. So in reality, it probably won't take anywhere near as long as it took me for you to do this. Um, but that's it for this video. It's just demonstrating how to create the live USB. I'll see you in the next one.